Guys, we are here. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Calm down. You're looking at the title and you're like, Blaze, what are you doing? Stop overhyping stuff. Sorry, I don't mean to overhype anything. This video is going to be a logical video, okay? We're not going to be going crazy, overexcitement. We're not going to overhype anything, all right? So what I say in this video is just rumor, speculation. Take it with a grain of salt, okay? You guys know that. If you watch my Persona videos, you know that I don't overhype anything at all. I like to have fun, and that's what we're going to be doing here. We can't deconfirm it, and we can't confirm it here, okay? We don't know what's going on, but I do see you guys looking at that title, and I know y'all are like... Rubbing your hands like Birdman right now because that's what I was doing earlier. Not gonna lie to you guys. But before we jump into that video, you already know who I am. SHSL Blaze, the ultimate commentator. Welcome to yet another video, ladies and gentlemen. I am very excited about this news. I'm very excited to just see this on my Twitter feed today. I like Google searched it just to see if this was true or not. So I want to talk about the article real quick, give you guys my thoughts and stuff, and basically state what the article says. And um, along with that, in the description down below, there will be a link to the article if you guys want to read it yourselves, okay? So I'm just going to read the headline right here for this article. Basically, right here, the article is stating that Spike Chunsoft is hiring staff for a PS4 and PC adventure game, which requires a UI designer that quote unquote likes the Danganronpa series. Now, I know you guys are looking at that and you're like, oh my god, whatever they could be making right now. It might not even be a Danganronpa game, but a game like Danganronpa, which would be freaking awesome, guys. Now, Zonky Zero technically isn't like Danganronpa, but it was made by the creators from Danganronpa. So, I mean, yeah, I, I hope it's not like a Zonky Zero game, but possibly everyone's kind of saying, and I was kind of overhyping it on Twitter too, everyone's kind of taking this article and they're saying to themselves, this could be a new Danganronpa game, you know, with how V3 ended, it opened, it ended pretty open-endedly, and it's kind of like, you, we could get a bunch of sequels. Technically, they could milk the crap out of the series with the way V3 ended. I feel like Kodaka ended V3 so he could come back to the series or make another game whenever he wanted to, which is hype, which is hype in my opinion. I think that's why he created V3 because he had to conclude everything that was going on in the trilogy, and then he was like, well, what do I do now? And it's like, oh shoot, the trilogy has concluded with an anime and such. So now I have to basically create a whole new game, end it open-endedly, so then I can create more games. And that's what I think he was doing. And he just wanted to take a break. This could be very exciting. I don't know what it could be. It could be a sequel to V3. It could be a spin-off to V3 because V3 ended kind of weird and there were some backstories that could have probably gotten like some prequel-esque games that, you know, kind of like UDG. Well, UDG wasn't a prequel, but you guys know what I mean. Like some kind of spin-off game based off of a story that was going on in between. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't I don't have to explain it, but like, like a UDG type game, we could be getting that with v3 you never know or it could just be a completely different game that's like danganronpa but my thing is whatever this game or project is they needed somebody that likes the danganronpa series so it's got to be something similar if it's not danganronpa and that's what excites me i don't care if it is danganronpa i don't care if it's not danganronpa but whatever the fuck it's gonna be it's gonna be like danganronpa <laughs> And that's all I care about at this point, guys. This is very exciting news that I hope Spike Chunsoft shows off in their next presentation, whenever that may be. I, I think they might be having a presentation somewhere in like February or March of 2020. So if they do, oh, this could be crazy. I'm telling you guys, I've been... I've been over here thirsty, bro. I've been dehydrated. The Danganronpa news hasn't existed. Spike Chunsoft just hasn't been doing anything other than I the Somnium Files. That was a great game, by the way. I the Somnium Files was great, hands down. Loved the game. Uchikoshi did a great job on that game. But other than I the Somnium Files, your boy has been scratching his head like I am a crack addict. Waiting for more Danganronpa, guys. I'm waiting for more Danganronpa. And as I've said in the past, the fan series has helped me out. Has kept my hype for the Danganronpa series alive. And I really appreciate all those people that have been working on fan series for it. 
but I really hope they release a game, dog, because I'm tired of waiting, dog. I'm tired of waiting. I just want to know something's in development. Like, I can wait. As long as I know a Danganronpa game is being made or something similar, I don't care. I'll sit back and wait, dog. I just want to know. I just want to know something's being worked on at this point. It could come out two years from now, three years. It could be like SMT5 and be shown once and disappear. I wouldn't care as long as I know they're working on something and apparently this game is coming out on PS4 and PC Boy, it's got to be Danganronpa at this point because what else would they have such a high hopes of it actually doing really well on PS4 and PC? You know what I mean? So like uh, I hope I just hope I'm thirsty, bro. I am thirsty at this point. I will I will literally donate my left testicle to research like I saw on Twitter <laughs> like I saw somebody say on Twitter somebody said if Donald Trump gets impeached I'm gonna donate my left testicle I saw that on Twitter the other day I agree with that man if I see another dog on Rampa game announced in the next few months I'm gonna donate my left testicle seriously cuz this is wild my dude this is completely crazy I hope this is true. I hope this is true. Like I said, guys, the link for this article is in the description. I am just, like I said, don't take all this with a grain of salt. It could just be some BS, you know, and we never see anything. But as long as the game's light, Danganronpa, man, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I am literally gonna cry do that that will be the best reaction video of all time like like we're talking Etika smash smash for reveal level of fucking reaction like I will definitely cry on screen man if that happens we'll have to see guys I hope you guys are excited for this somewhat and thinking logically like you know you got to keep your hopes you got to keep your excitement back a little bit because you don't know what's going to happen of course but still like a little bit of excitement had to spark inside your body like mine did so um yeah we'll have to see in the coming days what happens in the coming months or so and hopefully hopefully kodaka comes out like motherfucking namora and says boys another dangarampa game <laughs> dude i would be so excited dude um and I say, I always say, never say never. Never say never, guys, because I know there's gonna be a ton of people probably in the comment section that's gonna be like, oh yeah, well, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. They can't make another spinoff or they can't make a sequel. They can't make a spinoff game. It ain't happening. Kodak is not coming back. Never say never, because I said the same thing about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Guess what came, What guess what's coming out pretty soon. Final Fantasy 7 Remake, I said the same thing about a DMC5 because I'm a big Devil May Cry fan and I said the same thing about DMC5. I was like, DMC5 ain't never coming out, man. They, Capcom done, they, they done aborted it. And guess what happened? DMC5 came out. I said the same thing about Mega Man. I said Mega Man ain't never coming back. Capcom doesn't care about no Mega Man. What happened? A new Mega Man game came out. So never say never, okay? <laughs> never say never anyways with that being said i'm really excited about this and i i think you guys could just see my excitement we'll see we'll see but with that being said drop your comments down below hit that like button for your boy i'd truly appreciate it and let me know how what you guys think about this i need to know everybody's thoughts on it everyone's thoughts i truly appreciate it okay have an amazing day do not forget to like comment subscribe deuces guys hope will never die